Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, one of my favorite franchises of all time is Alien. I, I love the Alien franchise. I think that the first two films are just awesome. The third one, the director's cuts a lot better than the theatrical, as seems to be the case with these particular studio edits that come out quite often with these kind of films. Uh, hey, the fourth one, Resurrection? No. Prometheus had promise. Cinematography was amazing. Uh, story, okay. And, and Covenant was just, well, Covenant. But we got two good movies out of the deal, and that's still, it's still, that's, and they're high quality, even though they are coming up on being 40 years old in one case and almost 40 years old in the other case. But we did get a couple years ago a really solid take on the Alien franchise in forms of a video game. And no, I'm not referring to 2013's Aliens Colonial Marines. That was a goddamn mess. Still want my 60 bucks back, Randy Pitchford. You son of a bitch. But we did get, in the fall of 2014, the Alien Isolation video game, a survival horror that was actually really good. A bit of a middling middle act, so to speak. Uh, when you come back to the space station, you start fighting on the, uh, the, the, the synths. But ultimately, it was still a fun, enthralling horror, like horror-filled experience that uh, is, holds up to this day. And so now we're hearing some rumors that there's some TV shows in the works. In fact, actually, an R-rated animated alien series is rumored to be in the works uh, right now. And this, of course, is interesting. An R-rated alien animated series. What the hell does that even mean? What does that even entail? How, how would that even work? Well, apparently... According to a, a website called The Observer, an animated alien series could be coming. Not only is this potential new series going to be rated R, but it's based off the video game Alien Isolation. The series is rumored to have a seven episode run and will come from Axis Animation. In addition to doing the VFX on Alien Isolation, Axis is known for creating hyper real animated experiences and has worked on many titles, typically trailers and short films. Their list of projects include Halo series Snyder's uh, Sucker Punch, Infinity Infinity Blade Origins, Fable Legends, and Need for Speed Rivals. This wouldn't be the company's first foray into the Alien franchise as they worked on Alien Colonial Marines trailer Contact and the Alien Isolation trailer Improvise. According to The Observer, the upcoming animated series could debut as early as April, although nothing is official. Of course, it never is in these particular situations. But what does it mean? Well, for one, with the Disney acquisition, set to be complete by June. Now would be the time, if you have this in the docket, to get it out there. Because Disney will honor anything Fox is doing right now uh, until that merger takes place, and then all bets are off for what remains. You know, we, we don't quite know what their plan is going to be for the Alien franchise, if it even has one at all. But creating a seven-episode Alien Isolation animated series could be fascinating, but we don't know much else beyond that. What's the length? Are they going to be, you know, 44 minute long episodes? Are they going to be half hour long episodes? Are they going to be 11 minute or 15 minute? What exactly is the length? What exactly is going to be the delivery format? Is this coming to a streaming service? Is this going to be premiering as a limited event series on FX or FXX? Uh, is this going to be on 20, you know, where Blu-ray streaming? Where? So it's one of the things that like, it seems interesting, but also there's not enough details to really give you an idea of what exactly is going to be happening, except that Ridley Scott is producing it. Uh, he's also working on another, uh, another uh, short uh, animated series, apparently, or another series for Alien. Um, actually, goes on to say here that the Alien rumors don't stop at the animated series. H and Entertainment recently reported the aforementioned live action series will include Scott as, a, as an executive producer. One show is supposedly coming to Hulu, while the other is set for TNT and will focus on the androids. Okay, my mistake. So Hulu is going to be where this is going. Interesting. And I would say Hulu is because of Disney's acquisition of, of Hulu uh, and Fox owns 30 percent of Hulu right now. And they're going to be, you know, going into Disney's 30 percent. So it seems to be the right call to put it on that platform because that's where it's going to get the most exposure. What I like about this, though, if this is believed to be true, is the fact that what we might get to see is is kind of a new world of animated takes on these particular properties. The Alien franchise has had trouble trying to cram in a horror story uh, into a two hour, two hour plus experience, because oftentimes it's kind of the same thing. It is. It's kind of the same story as people go. They check out a rescue beacon 
Alien shows up. They die. Some people, you know, escape. The end. What made Aliens so interesting was the fact that they took it and they turned it into an action franchise. That's why most people, when you think, oh, what do you like? Do you like Alien or do you like Aliens? You hear Aliens more only because people enjoy the action experience of it. It's one of the reasons why Aliens Colonial Marines, that is technically considered canon now, is one of the ones that people really, really, really wanted to play because it was a bunch of space marines, uh, uh, colonial marines taking on uh, xenomorphs. And they liked the idea of that. It just was a really terrible game. Alien Isolation scaled all that back, gave us Ripley's daughter, and told us a nice single player horrifying experience in the process. So I'll be very interested to see where this where this goes, if it's real. And of course, I'll be reviewing it if it pops up on Hulu uh, over on three buck reviews, which if you want to check that out, link below in the video description. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this one? Do you think this is real? Do you think this is bad? And if you could make an, an alien show or a movie, which era would you set it in? Ridley Scott or James Cameron? Because I am curious to know your thoughts on this one. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below. If you guys made it this far, type alien in the chat. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Have yourself a great day, guys. And peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. While you're here, feel free to uh, check out that uh, subscribe button. You know, you know it help help with the channel out. Or you can watch any of the newest videos and make sure that you're caught up to date with what's going on in Hollywood and entertainment. So that way, when you're at work tomorrow, you can wow your friends with the information you learn from watching these videos. That's right. I said it. Subscribe.